him up. Succession. You ever watch Succession? No. I just finished it. Did you finish it, Jamie? It's fucking good. God damn, that's a good show. Woo, and the way they ended it. Whoever wrote that, bravo to you. Is it about what we're talking about? The- it's about rich people and their their family uh, takes over. The, the, the dad is the matriarch. He's essentially like he owns this like Fox News type organization. And the, the, the kids are all fucked up because they grew up billionaires. They grew up, you know, insanely wealthy. And they just it's just nuts. It's a very interesting show. Very difficult subject to tackle the way they did and make people relatable. But they really did it. It's, it's great. It's just like they're all fucking crazy. It's just if you kn- – <sighs> Like I played the lottery a couple times when I was young. Thank God I didn't win it. Thank God I didn't win it. Thank God. Like you, people don't know. Like <laughs> you shouldn't get a lot of money when you're young. Like you, you, you and you shouldn't get money easy. It, it's like you want to be working. Work is work and reward. You want reward for your work. But I'm a person that when I get reward for my work, I like to be generous. I like to spread it around. But I also like to have fun. And I feel like you're not around for very long. You don't, life does not, I'm 55 years old. If I'm halfway there, it's amazing. That means I did something incredible. I, I bypassed, I, I passed rather the life expectancies of the vast majority of the human race. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed, what, I'm supposed to not do the things that I really love to do and I enjoy? Like, what? It's like, why would I, it's like, why would I hang out with someone I don't like? Yeah. There's so many people I like. There's like so many great people that I could just have conversations with and chill. Why would I hang out with someone I don't like? I don't want any of that in my life. I want fun. I like fun. It's an interesting balance. I mean, essentially, people are trading their time for money. Yeah. Time that they could have been doing other things that they wanted to do. But I remember, I'm, I think, yeah, I turned 46 this year. So you got 10 more laps around the sun on look me. Look at you, sweetie. You look like you're 30 years old. That's. <sighs> Imagine all the stress that you've been through and <laughs> you look so good. You got some good genes, son. I think it's because I don't pay attention sometimes. I it's think just that, that helps. Shit just fucking go. I think that helps. <laughs> it's, you know. I really do think that helps. Yeah. I try to not take too many things too seriously. Don't get me wrong. I can get stressed out like a motherfucker. Sure. But I remember being younger and I thought that getting money, like you have, like I need X amount. I don't remember what that dollar amount was when I was young. It's probably a thousand bucks, but it was about getting money. Now I look at it. Um, you know, my dad's getting ready to move to Montana. He just sold his house in Santa Cruz. They're starting that process. And we've had conversations about money and, you know, what he made on the house, what he's going to do with it. And my theory in talking with him is if I were you, I would try to arrive at the end. Broke. Like, that last check for five bucks. Yeah. Bounce that fucker. Yeah. Like, yeah. why not? Yeah. I mean, what at some point in your life, if you can't flip the perspective and go, hey, I have spent so much of my time working for other people, likely, because mm-hmm. very few people work for, their, for themselves comparatively. If I, if I, like, what's the point of this treasure chest if you can't go and at least do something that you want to do? Yeah, for sure. That's what you should be doing with your life if you can. And you really should avoid working for other people if you can. It's Easier hard, said than done. Very, yeah. Especially very when difficult. you're young. Yeah, very hard. Very hard. But it's also people, it's all the steps you take, right? Because most of the steps that people take, especially when you get a conventional education and then you get some sort of a master's degree or a doctorate, like, man, that's a lot of invested time. And there's opportunities that are available for people with those degrees. And it's a general course that you've been on. You're, You're on a path. And if you're on that path, it's very difficult to work by yourself. Work for yourself. Well, you're also leaving out the uh, immense amount of debt that most oh. people accrue at a really young age in their life associated with those paths. Yeah, like, and you can't get out of it. I have it's a, the most evil shit ever. A couple friends who are lawyers. Actually, to this day, I'm yet to speak to a lawyer, and I'm sure that they're out there, but resoundingly, the same thing they say to me is, if I didn't owe so much money in student loans, I would do something different. Yeah. They don't, yeah. They don't enjoy it. Yeah. There's a lot of people like that. Yeah. A lot of people like that that live their life in that way, and it sucks. And it's, you know, but yeah, it's very difficult to not live like that, but it is possible. And it, but it's about the path that you take. If you continue on the path of working for other people and wish that you worked for yourself, nothing is going to change, but you can escape. Yeah. It can be done. People have done it. Many people have left the corporate world and started businesses and started doing things for themselves. They love doing, whether it's a hobby, whether it's knife making, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, a lot of people have done it. It's just not easy to do, but it is in this day and age easier than at any other time because of the internet, because you could post cool shit on the internet and then people share it and then people contact you and the next thing you know you got a thriving business. 
it does happen now more than it's ever happened before. There's a path to do it if you create things. But, you know, it's it's certainly easier said than done. And again, the path that most kids get put on from primary school, from high school, from college, most of that path is in entering the workforce, entering business, entering some occupation. And generally, you're working for someone when you do that. I think the I did not have zero seconds of education past high school for clarity and, and barely met the bar to graduate high school so everybody can take what I think about education with a fucking grain of salt. But the predatory lending around education to me, I think should be completely revamped and illegal. I just, I think it yeah. saddles young people with a debt where it limits their options so deeply that it makes working for yourself, unless, unless you're just doing it in the microscopic amount of off time that you have, almost impossible. Yeah. Yeah, it's very hard. And the sick part is that they're taking these young kids and they're doing it in a way that they, not only do they have these loans, but if they go bankrupt, they still owe those loans. It does, this is the yeah. one thing that no matter what you owe. And why? Why is that? Why, why? How come you can lose a house and lose a car and lose your money, but you can't, you, you can't go bankrupt and write lose, off student loans and write that off? It doesn't make any sense. Yep. Like you can write off credit card debt. You can write off business losses. You can write off all these things. You go bankrupt. And there's a penalty for bankruptcy. Your credit sucks. You're fucked. Very difficult to get a loan. Very, very difficult to, for people to trust you again. You have to earn that trust back. And even then, they're gonna, it's always going to be a stain on your record. But you can do it. People have done it. And a lot of people have done it. A lot of people have filed for bank bankruptcy. Big famous people have filed for bankruptcy. Big like presidents. Yeah, those guys. Yeah. Chapter 11s. They've gotten out of debt. But you can if you own student loans. If you owe, rather, student loans, you're fucked. I wonder why that is. I'm sure there's a re uh, justification they, for it. they love you, and they want you to be responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the terms I would use. But That's what it is. It's love. It's all love. Oh, the United States just wants better people all around, and they know that if they pay for everything, you're just going to be a fuck off and smoke meth and... So you were saying that, but before we started, you were talking about how you think that society is as close as it's ever gone to just circling the bowl. <laughs> yeah, we were talking outside. I think, I think we're as close as I've ever experienced to a, free, a complete societal collapse. And I don't think that people recognize how close we are. Because if the whole country goes the way San Francisco and Portland have gone, we're fucked. 